Right, I'm cycling back now. I've reached um, a bridge where in 18 something or other a bloke was killed on the bridge here. It's very nice. I met a huge lorry earlier today. Um, I'm going to try and do a little bit of videoing in a minute. I'm going to try and do a little bit of video in. Just after six o'clock, so I'm not too panicking actually at the moment now because of that. There's a lot of traffic coming. Right, what I'm doing, I'm videoing a bit. I'm just going to put it on hold. Right. <sighs> Somebody actually asked me if I was alright a minute ago. I said, I've only got a cycle back to Western. <sighs> I am suffering because my, my fingers are going numb from cramp. Holding the camera. So I'm only going to do a bit. I'm struggling a little bit uh, today because uh, the wind changed and if instead of blowing me home, it's, a, it's against me. It's against me. So I'm struggling to video, folks. Very hard to video, it's a big camera. But anyway, it's not long after six o'clock. I'm doing better than I thought. Um, I can see Mark Church, I can see Crook's Peak. I just don't want to make the wrong turn in now because it's too, I'm too tired for errors now. So, here's my beautiful Somerset, which I videoed quite well on the way down. I didn't want, I wouldn't have come out if I'd known the wind would have been this fierce for me going back home. It wasn't with me on the way out either. So, I was hoping it would be behind me, but it uh, looks like it ain't. This is the swings of roundabouts of the adventures. They don't always go smooth. And it's good to show people that things don't always go smooth. It's not all tickety-boo. Your ass can get sore. You, you can start aching. You can feel tired. The sun can be in your eyes. And if you make a slight error of judgment on a lane, it can cost you dearly. I decided 
to go this way because that road over there is very busy now I don't know if that's a bad judgement on my part or not I don't know if I should have taken that road I think I'll link up with it again later I think I'll link up with it later Very hard to video everyone, very hard indeed. Oh, the wind. Another reason I've come this way is because if I'd gone left then, it would have been a very, very fierce wind. There's Brent Knoll right over there, look. I'll turn off actually in a minute because I'm actually struggling to hold the camera and video properly over and out. Right, because I'm having a walk for rest, I've decided to video, if I can, going along this little bridle path. Yeah, so there we got the uh, the church over there, Mark Church. I could have carried on on the road. I'm not quite sure where that went. I can't remember either. And I didn't want to go down that road all the way over there and find out I was miles away from where I want to be. I probably wasn't. It was probably more of a direct route than what I'm doing now. But I just couldn't, I didn't want to make a mistake. At least I know, I think I know, that I, I hope I can come out here. Otherwise I've got to go all the way back. I've got to go all the way back otherwise. Do you know what, even walking the bike and trying to video is difficult. It's really, really difficult. It's a very heavy bike, you see. It's a very heavy bike indeed. There's Brent Knoll. I've got to get the other side of that hill. But I'm walking for a bit. I'm just walking for a little while. I'm hoping I can get out here. I don't know what's going to happen. If I can't get out here, I've got to walk all the way back. I'll be really upset, to tell the truth. Really upset. If this is a dead end up here. Right, I'm going to turn off. I'm not going to do any more videoing, I've decided. <sighs>